Uh, hello once again. Uh, welcome to this uh, lesson. Uh, today we are going to move a step further um, in the, dealing with the, um, the organisms belonging to the phylum of arthropods, the arthropoda. So, um, last time, uh, in the last few lessons we had, I think you remember very well, we looked at the arachnida, as the arthropod, the, 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 the arachnida, which is actually a, a group of um, uh, uh, the, the, the eight-legged arachnid, you know, the, the eight-legged, the spiders, the the mites, you know, I think you remember very well, the, the, yeah, so the, the, the ticks, those, I think that's what we looked at when you looked at the arachnids. And then we moved on to look at uh, the, the, the crustaceans. These are also, they've got uh, uh, exoskeletons also, with very big, uh, 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 strong front appendages, which are used for grabbing and for protection. And then uh, uh, these are the, you know, the, the, uh, the crabs and the scorpions in this group. We moved on to look at the, to, to, no, to, to look at the chilopoda, which um, uh, uh, consists of the ped family, the peds, the millipeds, the centipedes, yeah, the animals, you know, with, with, the, with, with a lot of legs. Yeah, the the, the, the Potter family. I think we we dealt with that uh, quite uh, um, efficiently. And so today we are going to go into another one uh, of the arthropods, which is uh, the, the you know one class, uh, another class, the arthropods, which is the insects. So today we are going to be looking at class insecta. Today we are going to be looking at class uh, 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 um, insecta. Uh, that's what we'll be looking at uh, today. So today we are going to proceed looking at the arthropods and we are going to be looking at insects. That's what we'll be looking at. We're going to be looking at insects. So when we talk about insects, you know, insect is, uh, uh, in fact, the largest class, you know, by numbers and biomass makes up the largest, you know, a, a number of, of, of you know, largest quantity of, of, of all arthropods. So um, insects are usually, you know, are, 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 you know they usually mate once especially the males, they will just mate once and they exhaust all their energy and body resources and die out just after mating. You know, the females uh, also, they will, you know, they will, they, 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 they will carry a large, large number of eggs, use all the body resources and they will usually die just after laying the, the eggs. However, there are some some insects which are able to to go on, um, uh, you know, reproducing like the like the bee drone for example, the drones for the bees. Those are able to go on um, uh, mating, and uh, you know the bee family might uh, go on. Even the wasps they do that. The the cockroaches they may go on for a number of times, but um, most uh, uh, other insects will die out. But they still survive because the numbers of eggs that they lay is so much, it's so high that uh, that ensures their survival, even though they may have a shorter lifespan. The eggs, as you, 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 you don't know, we've been talking about mating here, meaning that the eggs are actually, uh, uh, you know, they fertilize inside and develop inside the body of um, the, the so generally, looking at the insects, they have segmented bodies. The segments are even more visible if you look at the, the tail end of the insects. 
if we for those who have asked who have seen the locusts or the grasshoppers, you actually see the segments. They are, they are, they are, they are very uh, visible there. They are silomets like most other organisms, meaning that um, they have uh, a development during embryonic development, which starts from the ectoderm or the outside part, which makes the, 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 the skin for most other animals and for them, of course, is the, 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 the exoskeleton. The mesoderm, the, this is, you know, uh, you know takes the, the, the middle muscles, and the end of them is right inside the, 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 the bony part, the brain, and the, I think the, 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 um, uh, the, the gut. And then uh, when you look at uh, the insects, they are actually uh, uh, very symmetrical. You can actually draw a line of symmetry. The left and the right are exactly the same. And then the, the, the appendages, the... The, 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 the appendages, the legs, they are made up of small, small joints which make it uh, easy for them to maneuver. And the body is generally divided into three many uh, uh, the segments, the head, uh, the, the, the thorax, and the abdomen. That has been known to us for a very long time. Although many of them can fly, we do have some to, to, you know, to, to fly. The three main parts, as the, um, we have just been uh, um, mentioning, are uh, actually the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. It is on the head where you find the mouth parts for obvious you know, the purposes for intake, ingestion of, of, of food. Of course, the mouth parts may also have got other uses, such as maybe defense or making nests. And then, uh, yeah, they are kind of carrying food, maybe you know, you know, protecting their colonies and so on. The, the mouth parts may also be, 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 be used. We carrying eggs from one point to another when there is you know, there's danger or something like that. The antenna, um, they're usually called fillers, although uh, we also need to bear in mind that today they, 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 they don't just do uh, like, they don't just sense the sensations which involve touch. They are also able to get others such as, uh, as you know, chemicals, you know, pheromones. Yeah, 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 you no know, chemicals like pheromones which are usually released by the females into the air to alert the males that they are ready for, for, for mating. So the males will be looking for pheromones in the air and uh, go towards the direction of the, uh, uh, the where to, to go and find their, their, their mates. The ocellus, uh, these are light receptors. They are able to sense light just like the, 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 the eyes, you know. They are called compound eyes because these actually, uh, uh, no, no, these eyes actually have got a lot of uh, eyes on them. It's actually one big eye, which has got a lot of small eyes, which is able to see from different directions. So because of that, the, the insect doesn't have to turn uh, to the left or to the right to see anything. They were able to see, because they are outside with eyes all over, these images which are taken from different areas can actually be synchronized to make a clear picture of what is happening outside. They are very important for, 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 for protecting themselves in terms of yeah, whenever there's danger. Moving on to the next part, uh, the, the, the thorax, uh, which is the chest in simple language. Each, you know, you find that the thorax also is divided into three parts, although these parts are fused and sometimes not very visible, the parts. So each one of these parts actually has got what? Has got a pair of legs. So there are three pairs of legs, making a total of six legs that are found on the, uh, 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 on the, um, the thorax. The thorax also has got spiracles. These are small, small pores which allow gaseous exchange. And they move on from the thorax going all the way into or to the sides of the, um, of the abdomen. Going, talking about the abdomen itself, so you see that the spiracles, they are very important because they are the parts which are, in, you know, uh, they, 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 they um, have a role in 
uh, respiration because that is where gases exchange takes place. Gases are able to go in and out, oxygen coming, go, go, no, no, going in and, and expulsion of what of, 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 of expired air through the 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 the, the, the spiracles. The abdomen also has got a function in uh, also uh, has got reproductive organs. So um, the males and the females who have a reproductive organ there, that's where mating and depositing of sex cells takes place, right at the uh, where the, the, the reproductive organs are. And then the anal area, the cercus, the, that's the anal area that is where the 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 the, 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 the um, expulsion of um, uh, fecal matter takes place and this is the part which also does a lot of storage it's the you know, digestion takes place there but there's also a lot of storage of, of resources which may be used especially for the female during the development of eggs that is where a, a large quantity of uh, 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 um, uh, food resources are kept which are used uh, especially at the time when there is egg development. So those are the, the, the main parts. Maybe going back to the thorax, we have wings there. The four wings are the ones in front and then the hind wings are, uh, are the ones behind. They take many forms, they take many shapes depending you know, or, 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 or on the type of insect that we are going to be talking about. We are going to look at that when we look at some of the orders and maybe we are going to look at the structure of uh, the the different uh, moving forward maybe we can have um, uh, just have a look at the different orthoptera these are the hoppers a family very big legs very strong spiny for you know, no, no, leaping and the or the, 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 the hopper family the lepidoptera these are the the, 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 the butterfly family where you find uh, the butterflies very active, um, never resting during the day, very flamboyant, uh, you know, very active, uh, you know, around water, and the close relatives, the moths, those will be usually, uh, you know, uh, resting during the course of the day. They are nocturnal in nature, dark, and they usually uh, fly around during the night. These are the the, the, the moths are the types which actually put off our, our candles at night. And then the um, Sokode, these are the lice, the lice family. Yeah, the lice. These are the, the, on humans, you find them, and on many animals, um, especially on the, on, the, on the farm, um, we have a lot of these. And then the Hymenoptera, these are the the, uh, the the types which have uh, the very thin, very tiny connection between the thorax and the abdomen, the hymenoptera. There's just a very small, you know, uh, uh, membrane, a hymenoptera, hymen, a you know, thin membrane. So uh, here we have the bees and the wasps, and then the coleoptera. These are the beetles beetles very common like this one we have this one the ladybird you know you they are very hard very hardened uh, uh you know four limbs the 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 the, the, the hind limbs are actually very light and very membranous in nature and then the hemiptera um, you know, these are the maybe one example that we can talk about are the Hilda bugs. These are not good. You don't want them to land on you because they've got a very strong smell. They've got a very strong smell and it's not pleasant at all. You don't want this one to land on your foot. Uh, the, the, the hemiptera. And then the platoda, uh, this is the, 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 uh, the, the, the cockroach. And uh, I think another one that is also in this same group is the the the, uh, the termites. Yeah, the termites. They are in the same group. They are the blatoda. The, the, the blatoda. Very resistant, even under very difficult conditions. Uh, you know, they can survive under very, very harsh conditions. And then um, the, the Odonata, uh, the dragonfly is one example. We, we know the, the, it, it, it has wings 
which are both the, you know, they are the same size and uh, they are both membranous. It doesn't have hardened ones. No, but unlike the Hymenoptera, which also have got the you know, uh, 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 membranous um, uh, wings on both in front and behind, the ones in front are bigger. The four, the, the, the four wings are, are bigger than the hind limbs, much the same as the Diptera, the one uh, um, at, the, at the last picture, the, the Diptera. These are the flies, the common house flies, very big eyes with the, um, uh, the very big uh, the, 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 the wings are both membranous, the fore and the hind, except that uh, the ones which are in front, are, you know, the, the, the hind limbs are much smaller and are inside. Um, otherwise, these are just some of the orders. The orders go all the way up to 29. So we've just picked a few here for you. These insects, they undergo a metamorphosis. Metamorphosis simply means change. So insects undergo change, you know, in their journey through life. So the first type of change that we are going to be looking at here is uh, the one which is known as complete metamorphosis. In complete metamorphosis, the uh, insect undergoes through four distinct stages. There is an, uh, uh, the, 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 the egg where the, 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 the hatches out into uh, the, the, you know, uh, a larva hatches out from the egg. And then this larva, it is the part which is actually the, the maggot, the caterpillar, which is very destructive, especially in plant um, uh, you know, uh, crop production. They eat a lot. They are going to eat. They spend most of they spend most of their time eating almost continuously, and as they eat, they make they accumulate so much food reserves in them, and then after accumulating enough, they now go into a cocoon. They develop a cocoon outside them. That is a hardened structure. So that is known as the pupa. During the pupa, although we have been told over years that this is actually a dormant stage, it's in a dormant stage, there's uh, inside there, in fact, it is the part which is the big business part, because it is during this time that the, 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 the insect will be developing. The wings are going to form during that time, the eyes, the legs, and everything that an insect is actually develops during the, you know, this time. So although it may look dormant to us, maybe because it's not moving, it's one place, there is a lot of activity. That's when there's a lot of activity. All the food reserves which were stored during the larva stage are actually uh, are put into specialization. Differentiation and specialization takes place during this part to develop all the individual parts that we are going to see on an adult uh, insect. After that, it hatches, it, it breaks off from the, um, uh, from the pupa as an adult. So different in structure from what it was during the larval um, uh, 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 stage. Some of the uh, examples that we are going to be, uh, no, 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 that, that we can talk about during this stage, uh, the butterflies, we can talk about the ants, the wasps, the beetles, they undergo this kind of um, um, uh, 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 metabolic no, no change. And then um, the other type is where there is no intermediate stage that takes place. This is incomplete metamorphosis, where the egg you know, during the egg development, egg incubation, what hatches out is not a caterpillar. It's not a larva like in the previous one, the, the, where there's complete metamorphosis. But, uh, you know, what hatches out is actually a smaller type, the exact type of an adult, but just a smaller, it, 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 a smaller version of it, just a smaller one. So, the, what comes out is not a larva, but a nymph. A nymph is much like the adult in most respects. It will have all parts already developed. Of course, some may not have wings, 
but the general structure is just the same as an adult which may undergo a series of molting so it may move from the first stage to the second stage some reaching even as much as seven stages to become an actual what uh, to become an actual adult this molting is very important because it is during the molting stage that they increase in size because the uh, the, the, the the outside the exoskeleton can actually be very hard so it restricts growth so in order for them to grow they must break out of this hard thing when they are still soft they come out usually white they are going to grow very fast they are going to grow very fast and then as it hardens again they are going to molt again and that series of molting they are molting until they become what adults and then the cycle begins again some of the animals uh, they, 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 no, no, some of the insects which undergo this type of metamorphosis include the grasshoppers uh, you know very familiar to us the aphids these are the small small insects that you're going to find usually on vegetables you don't want to you know they destroy the the quality of vegetables no one wants to buy vegetables which have aphids on them you also find them on fruits uh yeah yeah uh, the aphids and then the dragonflies we talked about much earlier the termites very familiar to to uh, to 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 us you know on, on ant hills and so on so these are some of the examples that we can uh, uh, uh so ladies and gentlemen i think uh we are going to end here for for now we are going to proceed uh, in the next lesson where we are going to be talking about uh, uh, the what goes on inside now what goes on inside the uh, the the, the uh, insects mainly the the internal activities so for now we end here uh, thank you so much